Hello! Skills part two. Pictures. Let's do it. We're on the home screen. Going to upgrade and let's take a look at the pictures here. Um, let's just, yeah, let's look at our starting picture. So pictures are a little bit different than skill players, the batters, their skills. There's fireballer, level one, fastball plus two, breaking ball plus two, pitch technique, perfect, level two, control plus five, always in shape, level one, all stats plus one, risk management, pitch types plus two, win in scoring position, primary, relief, control plus two, breaking ball plus two, win winning, tenacious play, all stats plus two, win losing, upturn, all stats plus three, against the next batter after a strikeout. Personally, I use perfect on all my pitchers um, let's look at one that's not upgraded but you get plus four control to your pitcher which is huge I think it actually does make a noticeable difference in the pitching circle you'll see that you know if your control is at 60 it'll boost it up to 65 automatically that's half like a tier half a tier for free the other ones if you do, you know, if you really want to focus on your fastball, go for it, I'd say. And as well as the bottom one, same thing I said with the batting skills. It depends on what you want. If you want to be a little more conservative, want to get that boost, you know, when runners are in scoring position or when you're losing, you want to try to come back. But I just think control plus four makes such a big difference. It's really good to get all stats plus one. Also, if you have a lot of pitch types, it'll give you overall, you know, if you have six different pitches plus control, that's plus seven across the board that just spreads it out. So it's plus one. It's not all concentrated. So it does depend. Um, but I go with perfect level one on all my pitchers personally. Now, at level 20, you do unlock the second skill. Here we have ace. Fielding plus one of all players, speed plus one when fielding only, so not when you're batting. Agility plus one of all players when the pitcher's in the game, so it's, uh, I presume it's only when he's pitching, so on defense for your fielders. Throwing plus one, batter's eye plus two, speed plus two on offense, contact plus one, power plus one. So this is, I have less of a solid recommendation. It also, I've said this a lot, but it depends on what exactly you're looking for in your players. So if your players, you know, have a low speed, you might want to prioritize speed, which isn't a bad skill to have. Same thing with contact, power. Um, fielding, I'd say less of an impact. I'd say speed um, on offense, power, or batter's eye. I like batter's eye a lot, so I carry batter's eye. But for you, you might choose something else. Completely up to you. Um, this one you can have play around with completely customize it Once again, same thing with the batter skills Upgrade costs 10 skill tokens as you can see at level 1 15,000 coins it goes up um, If you want to change a skill just press equipped you'll switch over right away really easy pitchers That's really all I have to say about pitchers. There's not much to it um, a lot less nuance I think but you can see here, you know, control makes a really big difference, in my opinion. But yeah, that was a super quick summary of the pitcher skill tokens to round out this mini two-part series on skill tokens. If you have any questions about skill tokens, how to use them, please comment down below. Like the video if you learned about skill tokens. Subscribe if you love baseball. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace!